the students today we are going to read chapter 2 creating tables in ms word 2010 of standard 7 tables in ms word so now we will dis discuss what is table table is made up of rows and columns the intersection of row and columns is called a cell so tables are often used to organize and present information but they have a variety of other uses as well so you can use tables to align numbers in columns and then sort and perform calculations on them so a table is made up of row and column and when the row and column intersects each other it forms a cell my dear students as you can see in this figure there are different tabs one of them is insert tab as it is as you can see here this is the insert tab and when we will click on this insert tab we will go to table group and when we will click on this this drop down list will come and here you can see the first way to insert a table by grid and after that the second way to insert the table is insert table option when we will click on this insert table option a dialog box will appear where we can write number of rows and columns according to our choice according to the need then the third option is draw table option by this draw table option uh, you can see here this is the draw table option and by this option when we will click on this our cursor converts into a pencil and by that the help of that pencil we, we can just drag the pencil on the work area and we can uh, able to create table according to uh, the choice that will be customized table then the next option is convert text to table first we will write the content and after that we will select it then this top, then it that uh, this option is highlighted and then we will click on this option then the all data will uh, inserted in the table automatically after that excel spreadsheet option is there one excel sheet will come by clicking on this and there we can just enter the data horizontally and vertically that is in a cell and then quick table option is there there are different types of customized tables are here and that is already uh, um, done and just we can enter the data in that tables after that next option is there the difference the definition of row uh, it is a horizontal series of cells in a table then uh, column is there it is a vertical series of cells in a table horizontal series uh, is row and the vertical series is column and both when intersect each other that is uh, cell will be uh, formation of cell will be done the intersection of row and column makes a rectangular box called a cell next is adding a new row in the middle of an existing table so for this when the table is created when you have to add a new row or uh, uh, or do you have to delete a new row just we will go to layout tab we will click on insert above or insert below option there there the delete option will be available there also and there we can make the changes like that so next is to apply tables style features to an existing table just we will go to the table and then we will go to uh, select the table and then we will go to design tab and there we will scroll uh, down choose the desired style form of the list so click the left mouse button on the desired style to apply the selected table so uh, the more button can used to see entire list of table styles available in microsoft word 2010 and my dear students you can see in this figure here it is the layout tab and here are the different uh, groups are here table group row and rows and column group merge group cell size alignment group and data group and here is the view grid lines option is there for viewing the grid line at here and in this group rows and column option delete insert row as i am discussing in the last last slide uh, left insert left insert right this is the uh, this is the group where which we can in which we can delete uh, row insert row left right up down where we want 
and after that this is the mm, last 